what's up everybody um hope you guys had a good weekend um so as we know joss whedon is has been brought on board to direct the batgirl movie coming up within the next few years and um there's been a few fan casts and stuff for who should play batgirl but um of course no official announcements or anything the movie's still quite a ways away but um, today, Lindsay Lohan expressed some interest in the role, and she uh, had posted this on Twitter. Um, retweet if I should star in the new Batgirl movie, and everyone tell at Joss, referring to Joss Whedon. So, she's kind of petitioning people in a way to um, support her as <laughs> starring in the role, tell Joss Whedon that she would like to be Batgirl. Um, I don't know how I quite feel about that, um, which is weird for me to say because growing up, I was always a Lindsay Lohan fan. I was like a Disney kid growing up. I loved Disney. I didn't really like Nickelodeon Cartoon Network too much, but I loved Disney. And of course, after a while, <laughs> when she started getting into adulthood, her life kind of took a bad turn, which I think everyone knows about, but she's kind of had some ups and downs since then, and it's kind of unfortunate because, I, like I said, I was always a fan of her. I liked her movies. I liked her music when I was younger, so it's unfortunate when you see a celebrity that you admire go down a path like that, but obviously that happens a lot in Hollywood, especially when celebrities start out as child stars sometimes you know that can be pretty common in that environment but you know she hasn't really done anything too big or mainstream since Mean Girls and that was quite a long time ago she did like some lifetime like a lifetime thing uh where she played um uh Elizabeth Taylor but other than that she hasn't had like any big blockbuster hits since Mean Girls and her career's kind of been on the downside since then but um, I don't know how I picture her in a superhero role. Um, I mean, she has the red hair. I think she has the the look that you might choose for a Batgirl role, a Batgirl actress. But I'm not quite sure I see her in the DC Cinematic Universe as a superhero. Maybe just because I'm not used to seeing her in those kinds of movies. So, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was a little random um, to see her express interest in this kind of role. But, you know, sometimes these actors and actresses that get picked for these roles are unexpected, you know. And they are people that we would never think to put in a role like that. Like, I would never have thought to put Ben Affleck in a superhero movie, much less a role like Batman. And I wasn't one of the people that was upset or raving when he was cast as Batman. But I was surprised by it. So, I don't know, you never know, you know. With the DC Cinematic Universe, it seems like pretty much everybody <laughs> so far has had their share of criticism and doubt when it comes to them playing a certain character, which I never really had any of that with most of them, with any of them. Like, for sure didn't have that with Henry Cavill. With Ben Affleck, like I said, I was surprised, but I wasn't doubting it. It wasn't really that way with anybody, because I'd rather just see them play the role first and then form my opinion but when it is, I mean, like Henry Cavill, I wasn't too familiar with him. Gal Gadot, yeah, she was in Fast and Furious movies, but she wasn't a main, main person. And, you know, I wasn't too familiar with other movies that she had been in before that. Ezra Miller, same thing. Same with Ray Fisher, same with Jason Momoa. So when it's people that you're not maybe as familiar with, then you can't, it's not really fair to form an opinion about them yet because you haven't seen them that much but like Ben Affleck for instance has been a very big name actor for many years and so it's a little different and so has Lindsay Lohan she's been in entertainment her whole life so when more people are familiar with that person <laughs> I think it's easier to jump to conclusions about how they would be in a certain role but it's still not fair to automatically say no absolutely not or you know it just I don't know I guess it depends on if you've been a fan of theirs or not but at the same time, sometimes people surprise you. So I don't know. <laughs> I just was surprised by her, her expressing interest herself on Twitter in the role. But we shall see. And it also 
makes you wonder if um, casting has been um, open, I guess you could say, or has been going on because she all of a sudden said something on Twitter. So I wonder if in the entertainment world, that's not really out to the public yet, but in that industry, I wonder if um, it has been known that they're looking for a Batgirl or they're trying to cast someone. So I don't know. We shall see in the near future. And also the AFI Awards um, were just a few days ago. And Wonder Woman, specifically the creators, Zack Snyder, the whole creative team, were recognized at the AFI Awards. Um, Zack Snyder shared this on his Vero account. I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Um, the AFI is the American Film Institute. And so it says that the American Film Institute is proud to recognize Zack Snyder and the creative ensemble of Wonder Woman for its contribution to America's cultural legacy. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to share that because um, that's really nice. Um, it's nice to see Wonder Woman and Zack Snyder and the whole creative team get some more recognition. Um, I mean, Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, Patty Jenkins have gotten a lot of praise and recognition since the movie came out, which is great. But a lot of people forget or fail to recognize that Zack Snyder also played a big part in this movie. First, we know that he cast Gal Gadot in the role for BVS. And um, he also worked on the script and producing for Wonder Woman. Um, he wrote the story. So that's a very big part that he played, obviously, in the movie. And, of course, he had a cameo appearance. There are pictures of him on set with, De with uh, Patty Jenkins. So he had a very significant role in Wonder Woman and people that didn't like Man of Steel or BVS tend to spew hate at him and say that, you know, oh, he, Patty Jenkins should have just done those movies. They should never let Zack Snyder near a DC movie again, seeing what Patty Jenkins did with Wonder Woman when they don't even realize that <laughs> Zack Snyder played a huge role in making that movie. So it's nice to see him being recognized for the success of that movie, w along with Patty Jenkins and everyone else. And of course, there's a picture of him with his wife, Deborah Snyder. And of course, she's also um, working on all these movies. She's also executive producer. And there's a picture with him with, of him with Gal Gadot and Steven Spielberg. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because we haven't really seen too much of Zack Snyder since he had to step down from Justice League last year. And um, aside from what he shares himself on Vero, that's pretty much all we've seen of him of him since then, which is understandable. So I just wanted to share that because that's a nice thing to see um, right now. So anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. And think, check out the links in the description. Tell me what you think about Lindsay Lohan as Batgirl or who else you might have in mind to play the role. Um, so yeah, let me know all that stuff in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.